And in breaking news today, the new IB chemistry internal assessments for first assessment in 25. Criteria for success in internal assessment has been released. Top 10, here we go. Very happy to declare that communication and personal engagement criteria have now disappeared, thank you. Coming in at number nine, it's still worth 20% of your overall IB. That's a two grade difference, maximize that opportunity. Coming in at number eight, we find that it's 3000 words, no longer that nonsense 12 pages, which was so abused. Coming in at number seven, we have finally to work out that three students can work in one group to collect the same data, but must have a different outcome. Coming in at number six, we have the fact that it's four sixes, no fours and twos, it's still 24 points overall. Number five, the grade boundaries are still going to be the same. You can use database, you can use field study, you can use lab-based work, simulations, computer modeling. Coming in at number four, one IV, one DV. You can have more than one DV if it's correlated. And coming in at number three, we still need to get 20 points for a seven, 17 points for a six, that still holds true. Coming in at number two, we have one way to fail. Academic dishonesty. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Number one, May 25, first assessments. Those 3,000 words, they do not include charts, data tables, equations, formulae, or references. Let's look at those criteria now. We will see some familiar comments and criteria from the previous incarnation of internal assessments. Safety, ethical, environmental is still there. We won't see the control variables with the method linked to it. Always do it in a table, as you can see on the right-hand side of the screen. Justification for your choice and range. Why did you choose that method? Why did you choose that database? You know, your method must be relevant and test the research question. We see lots where it is not. Data analysis. This is much more explicit. I'm a big fan of this. Proper consideration of uncertainties. Not how, not which, but that you do. You must address the research question. Qualitative and quantitative are still required, but certainly the mathematical rigor has increased from the previous incarnation of the internal assessment. For me, I'm a huge fan of this. We've always done this, right? The best ones have always done this. Look at the internal assessment on the right-hand side. Legends are labeled on the axes, error bars, R-squared values are now all explicit requirements for the new internal assessment. Don't forget, this is now one quarter, one quarter of your overall mark. Clear, clarity, and precision. I think many people were a little bit shocked that conclusion and evaluation is now half of the marks. Well, it is. We want to have some high level chemistry. Look at the IA scrolling on the right hand side. We want to see references which are not Quora, which are not Wikipedia. We want to see ChemGuide. We want to see LibreText. We want to see Webmo. We want to be restating the research question and ascertaining to what extent, love that talk expression, to what extent we have actually answered the research question by virtue of our inquiry and our internal assessment. And the least favorite aspect of the previous IA is still loud and proud. Why? Because the links directly with what you'll be doing at university is very much in line with the real skills of a real chemist. What are the systematic, the random errors? What are the improvements? Are they realistic? We don't expect you to go in, into space like Elon Musk. We do expect you to do research at your level. And there's a penguin. Subscribe now. You'll feel better.